Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on my approach and the way I do my readings. Check out the Soulful Revolution channel. Mary Jo, the owner of that channel, was my inspiration to start this channel. I would have never had the courage to do it if it wasn't for her. The video you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Cancer, this is your weekly February 23rd through the 29th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work situation first. We've got the Devil, clarified by the Emperor. Then we also have the Nine of Swords and the uh, Nine of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Capricorn. I'm not a really big fan of this spread, but I've got to read what I see. I think you had some sort of a fallout with your boss, who could have been um, an Aries or a Capricorn, or this is just a boss figure and uh, they could have offered you something you didn't really like they could have offered you to start a new project or to just uh, make some changes in your work um, situation it could have been some sort of a write-up and that's been keeping you up at night and now you're all uh, defensive about it um, so that's where you stand this week in terms of your, your work situation well, hopefully it will pass. Don't worry about it. It's all about how we manage our managers, right? This is a director of HR that once told me this uh, very wise thing. So uh, don't be very discouraged. This is just one week. The following week will be much better for you. I'm sure about that. Cancer, if you are in an established love relationship, this spread is for you. An established love relationship is marriage or a long-term partnership, living together or still living separately. We've got the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Swords. Then we also have the World and we also have the Two of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Swords. We've got four Swords cards on the table. Um, this is an interesting spread, especially uh, to keep in mind this is an existing love relationship, right? So um, what I do see here is there's some kind of a breakthrough. You're setting a record straight with your partner. Your partner could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or it could be uh, you assuming the energy of the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords is someone who's uh, seen it all, who's gone through a few things in her or his life and uh, she just knows she is not open, she doesn't accept any bullshit in her life anymore. And the, say, and the Ace of Swords is a confirmation of that, so some kind of a very straightforward, bold conversation is gonna happen this week between you and your partner and this will end some kind of a cycle between you and your um, loved one and a new cycle will begin the two of swords clarified by the eight of swords to me that means that the uh, the stuck situation is also coming to an end or you're coming out of this stuck situation or you don't want to get into the stuck situation anymore with this partner so some kind of a breakthrough some kind of a straightforward bold conversation is about to happen with your partner and uh, you will set the record straight with them cancer I was asking for any new love for you this week as I was shuffling the cards but I think this is an X spread um, it doesn't have to be the most recent X it could be somebody from a couple of months ago or a year ago or five years ago um, we've got the Six of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. This is a very straightforward uh, story, so I didn't even want to clarify any of the cards. Somebody is coming back from the past. That's the uh, Six of Cups card that is responsible for that. And uh, the two of you will have a brand new, passionate uh, reconciliation 
and the start with this particular X. And the Four of Pentacles could be uh, interpreted as somebody's holding back, but I think in this case, you'll be so happy to see this person to come back into your life. You'll hold on to them very, very tightly. And uh, like I said, this looks very passionate, very fiery, and uh, the two of you are on your way to reconcile to reboot this relationship. Let's see if anything will surprise you, Cancer, this week. We've got Strength, the Five of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, I think this is related to the work spread I did for you, the first spread I did. Um, but it doesn't have to be. What I think is happening here, if you were waiting for something related to your work, related to your business, unfortunately that's not going to happen. You'll hear some bad news. Um, but the good news here is uh, you'll have the strength to overcome it eventually. Um, you'll be um, kind of sad, you'll be looking back into the past, thinking about uh, you know, the way uh, this uh, whole situation went down but I think you will manage to overcome it pretty easily and as I was saying to you in the uh, work spread this is just one week it'll get much better for you the following week I'm sure of that and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other thank you for watching sharing and subscribing